here with a new kitchen zone vlog and we're doing this uh, today about a interesting it's, it's zero in, in, in this garage zero 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 so I'm gonna have a drink Today's video is going to be about this Labni, 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 Labni cheese, Labni cheese. This is something that is not, I, I can't find it in uh, very many places. Um, it's a low carb, I'll show you the, the carb contents. It's a low carb, um, Kefir, kefir cheese. I always thought it was kefir. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I saw someone call it kefir, like heifer. Like heifers don't eat this. They eat uh, other stuff. But this is kefir cheese, I think. Kefir cheese. But this is like a this particular uh, ours brand. I'll show you again the label ours. I can't find it in any stores. Um, I found it at. Metropolitan Seafood in Lebanon, New Jersey. I guess it's, uh, if you have to take Route 78, it's exit 20A, uh, and it's right there off exit 20A. Metropolitan Seafood has a bunch of stuff. They, they, they focus primarily on seafood, but they have, um, you know, besides the fresh fish, they have prepared foods, and they have like a little deli section with various things, like a really good pesto sauce, and uh, this stuff. Um, it's Lebanese. I mean, yeah, for the people that might be offended by whatever's going on, if there's some Arabic on there, I think. I don't know, it looks like Arabic. But um, I wanted to explain to you why I like this. Number one, besides it's, it's uh, low carb, per two tablespoons, only one gram of carbs, no sugar. Um, and that works out to about 15 grams of carbs per pound. Per, per 453 grams, even though it's 454, I believe is the actual per pound. Um, but here's the interesting thing about this, and I didn't know this, I, I forgive my ignorance, but you can make yogurt out of milk. It's just made out of milk. You, you, you put the, you slow cook it like at 100 degrees for like four hours. Like you can use an immersion uh, cooker, not immersion, uh, what do you call it? sous vide cooker, whatever those things are called, um, for four hours and milk turns into yogurt if you just heat it for 100 degrees for an hour, four hours. Um, and then what you do, let's just say you didn't take that process, say you had just regular plain Dannon yogurt you got from the supermarket. You just stick it in a cheesecloth for 24 hours and let it drip away and, and you add salt, like a, I think it's a teaspoon Per pound or two table, two teaspoon or a tablespoon for two pounds. I don't, I forget exactly what it is. It's salt to taste, basically. But all this labne, lab, lebne, lebne, lebne. I, I don't even know how to say, it, but it's lebne, lebne, whatever. This is basically a kefir cheese, kefir, whatever you want to call it. All it is is yogurt minus the liquid with salt. That's the simple way to put this. Yogurt without the liquid, with added salt. So what that means is, and now this refrigerated has the consistency of, let's just say, refrigerated, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, room temperature cream cheese. It, it, it's, it's, it's room temperature cream cheese. And what I like to do, typically if you go to a, a, a Mediterranean restaurant, they give you this stuff in a bowl with some uh, olive oil and maybe some seasonings and so on and so forth. But take a look at the commercial that for this stuff. This is from like a decade ago. Take a look. So that was the 
a commercial. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's an interesting thing because I'm still like adapting to it because a salty but yet sour thing is really, it's a very niche taste. It's, I mean, I've tried adding sweet things, like making like a berry yogurt, blueberries mixed with it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, hey, a repeat a customer type thing. I'll try it again. Maybe I, I might have to add some other things, but salty and sour and then sweet does not quite work out, I guess, on the palate of, of tastes. Kind of a conflict of interest, so to say. And by the way, I'm gonna finish up my, my little um, Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer. It was very watered down, FYI. I'm gonna remind you guys how I make it. I take a thing of ice, okay? Yeah, it's recording, I, I, I couldn't tell if it was recording, but I have a, something new to show you today. So I have a thing of ice, and this is a 32 ounce ball jar, bell, ball, whatever. I take some of this ginger, and I open up the capsule and stick it in my, my glass, like so. That gives it a really nice flavor. I like it. And then I pour my little drink in, like so. You can see it here pouring in. Let it fizz up all the way. But now that it's getting cold out and the winter is coming around, I make a little, uh, for the night, I make a mixing tea concoction. This right here is a 24 ounce uh, ball jar, but it's two tea bags of elderberry tea. Uh, it's, I think it's called Tel Telsi, Telsa, um, um, I forget what kind of tea it is, but it's a yogi tea. And one black tea just for flavor. And I mix it into my drink here. I put a little bit of color. It looks like a Long Island iced tea when you do this. And then I take a little more like Perrier seltzer. And I mix that in. I, I normally uh, use lemon juice too. I just left it in the uh, kitchen. And that's my, that's my award-winning drink that I can drink a lot of and not get uh, hung over and sick. Behind me is this commercial kitchen I wish I had in my house. And also behind me is a green screen, which I'm, this is my first time using. So if you see any kind of static, that's just first time. And I don't really care because I, like, I don't mind showing the errors of my ways because I'm practicing. And I think practice and, and, and whatever. Let's get back to this stuff again, this labne. This is a, this, for people who don't like eating sugar or who choose not to inject sugar into their veins and ruin their, their, their health, this is a really, really good satiating snack. And, and I'm getting accustomed to it to the point where I actually am starting to enjoy the, um, the salty, sour kind of, let's just say you're hungry and you're pun punchy and peckish as they say in, <coughs> in Britain, peckish, I'm peckish. Instead of eating junk like pretzels or chips or, or, or bread and, <sighs> if you're hungry, that means your body needs fuel. You're not, you're not craving entertainment. I mean, you can watch, you know, don't even watch TV. You, you can do something else for entertainment. If you need to feed your body and it's hungry, and it's hungry for the right reasons, that you've used up your fuel and the body's asking for more. When you eat too much sugar and bread and so on and so forth, your body screams hunger when it's not really hungry. And that's why we don't like spiking our blood sugar up and down. That just makes you inaccurately hungry. It's like a false flag hunger. Um, but let's say you're really legitimately hungry and you don't, it's not lunch time and you just don't want to prepare. Having this stuff in the fridge 
You put a little bit in a bowl, season it as you wish. I mean, like I, like I said, I'm, I'm still a little bit on the fence on how to do this. I heard uh, uh, harissa, salt, harissa seasonings uh, make, mixed with this makes a really good spicy bite, has a nice bite. Um, I heard that from the guys at Metropolitan. But I'm freezing, I don't have the heater out here today. My hands are literally like, like, like ice, ice pops. Um, but you, you put a little bit in a bowl and eat it like yogurt. It's like a yogurt, but it really doesn't have, A, you don't need to eat an eight ounce or six ounce container of, of it to feel satisfied. Eat it slowly. It's a nice thick consistency. Um, and I just, I'm just a little bit pissed that even though it's so easy to make, you just stick it in cheesecloth and drip, let it drip, yogurt in cheesecloth, let it drip for 24 hours. It's a pain in the ass. Why can't I get this stuff at every supermarket? This kefir cheese, kefir. I, I, I think that's how I'm gonna remember it. That's how one Lebanese girl on, uh, on YouTube said it. She said kefir cheese. Um, I always said kefir. You know, doesn't, it, doesn't it make you wanna say kefir cheese, kefir cheese? Um, it's kefir cheese. Who knew? So that's it. I, this is my first uh, video in the kitchen zone for NJVU 22, and I hope this thing works. Um, and remember, this I, I would love to have this oven and this long array of, of equipment and space and, and stainless steel. You just bleach it and hose it off and you're done. I, that would be the best kitchen ever. But right now, we're, we're, we're okay with our kitchen. I'll be bringing you into my kitchen eventually. Uh, once I can get the video uh, logistics set up and so on. But this is it. If you could find this anyway, the kefir cheese, kefir cheese, do it. it it's, um, it's something that uh, you'll really, um, and by the way, this Ars uh, Dairy website, where is it? Ars Dairy, Ars Dairy, Ars Dairy, Ars Dairy, that Ars Dairy website, I looked at, I tried to read more about them and it came up error. <laughs> I don't know if I, I did pay my uh, internet bill, so it wasn't me. So that's it. Episode one of Kitchen Zone and something that I recommend. I, I'm, people living in, in more uh, uh, diverse uh, neighborhoods will probably have a Lebanese store or, or some sort of Mediterranean store you can get. This brand or something similar. But I highly recommend this as part of a healthy diet uh, to not kill your, your blood sugar. So that's it. Have a nice new year. And I, I swear to God, I should have brought it here. This, this is, I gotta get a better studio. Better studio. New Year's resolution, I think. Have a good night.